If he does, you know what I'll do? I'll accept his apology and move on, the TV host said during his latest opening monologue on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Jimmy Kimmel is asking Aaron Rodgers for an apology after claiming that the late-night talk show host had ties with Jeffrey Epstein. Kimmel, 56, opened his latest Jimmy Kimmel Live broadcast with a monologue fully dedicated to the New York Jets quarterback, 40. Thank you for joining us for the first show of 2024, which is already a crazy year, particularly for me, said Kimmel at the start of the segment. While the studio audience replied yes when asked if they had heard about the situation, Kimmel reminded his viewers that Rogers made the claims during an appearance on The Pat McAfee Show, ahead of the release of a list containing names of high-profile people rumored to be associated with Epstein. Kimmel's name did not appear on the list. He said I was hoping it wouldn't and that he was going to pop a bottle of something to celebrate when he did, and then it did come out, and of course, my name wasn't on it and isn't on it, and won't ever be on. I don't know Jeffrey Epstein, I've never met Jeffrey Epstein, said Kimmel. I'm not on the list. I was not on a plane or an island or anything ever, and I suggested that if Aaron wanted to make false and very damaging statements like that, we should do it in court so that he can share his proof with a judge. Kimmel joked that the athlete might have made the accusations since he's mocked him in prime monologues. I'm not one of those people who think athletes and members of the sports media should stick to talking about sports. I think Aaron Rodgers has the right to express any opinion he wants to, continued Kimmel, adding that Rodgers' claims are not an opinion or considered trash talk. And as far as the well, you say things about people all the time argument goes, yes, I do. It's not the same. It's not even close to the same, Kimmel said. We say a lot of things on this show. We don't make up lies. In fact, we have a team of people who work very hard to sift through facts and reputable sources before I make a joke, and that's an important distinction, a joke about someone. The talk show host said that the same consideration is given to everyone he mentions and that he apologizes when getting something wrong. Which is what Aaron Rodgers should do, added Kimmel. Which is what a decent person would do, but I bet he won't. If he does, you know what I'll do? I'll accept his apology and move on, but he probably won't do that. My guess is that he won't apologize. I hope I'm wrong. His comments echoed his sentiments on X, formerly known as Twitter, on Tuesday after Roger's viral interview clip. Host Pat McAfee also spoke out about the appearance, expressing that his ESPN show doesn't like to be associated with anything negative ever. When asked about the situation during a press conference on Monday, Rogers invited interviewers to watch McAfee's upcoming show, stating, I'm going to talk about it tomorrow on the show. Tune in.